Yes, sir. I have a problem with anybody saying that Jesus, uh, the color of Jesus do not matter, especially when you're looking at a people that has been demoralized, degraded mm -hmm. uh, uh, by using the Jesus concept as white. Very and that's something we have to really look at. I, I think so, too. Yes, ma'am, you wanted to say. I just want to take You'll issue. You'll take the mic, please? Yes. Take issue, please. I just want to find out, why is it that we have a problem with Jesus being black? Why is there a problem? I mean, why is it okay for him to be white? All these years he has been... Why isn't it okay for him to be white why? if he is? Because we have, grow, we have learned from we were born that the, the image of this man has been white. Why can't we put a black image in there now? Do you want to it's awful. Give the mic to the You'll stand, please? No, yes. no the, the only thing that, that I think that needs to be brought out here is that the issues are being confused. There's a spiritual aspect of Jesus. We all love him. He's in our hearts. He's right. in our soul. He lives. Right. Okay, but there's a human aspect, and I think that that's what has to be addressed. You're mixing the issues, and that's why you, you said that everything was sacrilegious, this, that, and the other thing. I understand your point, but the issue is, is human, not spiritual. No, it's not. Yes. Well, it's easy for anybody to say it's Somebody hasn't had a chance. Please oh, Come on. Yeah, give me a young man right there. We had a black right. Judas. Nobody uh, said yeah, anything. Yes, we did. Yes, sir. You wanted to say. Yes. Uh, I basically am not concerned about how white folks f um, view Jesus Christ. My concern is about black people. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why I say this is because uh, if, you, if you examine uh, all civilizations, they had an image. The gods were in their image. Yes, right? Sir, and we have to understand that we as black people are a dominated people. And as a result of that, our oppressors are going to, are going to put their gods and their beliefs on us. Yes. Right? And, as, and as a result of that, 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 is, that, that is the reason why you find that our kids, our young children growing up, cannot project themselves or see themselves into any, uh, anything substantial you're, in you're life. Right. Your point is made. All right? I thank you. Kareen Stewart, is, are, you, are you Kareen's mother? Yes. You are. Well, you raised this young man to do a lot of thinking by the time he was 15 years old. His own uh, presentation here about the importance of the ethnicity of Jesus is very, very uh, compelling and shows a lot of hard work on his part. Uh, did, and you wanted to say... I just wanted to say, when Kareen and I pray, we don't pray because Jesus is black or white. What Kareen is trying to portray to you is that as a human being, the way he's depicted it has an effect on our black people. As young people, when they look up, they want to see someone that they can say that, that yes. did something in their life. That's true. And Kareem looked, he said, well, Mom, why do we have white Jesus? Is, was Jesus white? I said, no, he wasn't white, but the Bible depicts him as a man of color. I said, but from the European aspect, this is the way they portrayed him, because how would it look for enslaved days to have a white or a black Jesus as a uh, savior? Yeah, yes. Are you there, caller? Pretty good to me. Yeah. yeah. Are you there, caller? Yes, I am. You wanted to say? I wanted to say I don't think it makes any difference, white or black. If Jesus, in effect, was black... Well, then, should the white children not have somebody to look up to as they're claiming that the black be children do? What is the difference? Y'all have something to look up for years and years yes. and years. Um, this young woman wanted to say. I don't know what color Jesus was. Um, I was, but I'm moved by Blair Underwood's film and um, impressed with it. And Kareen, I hope to raise my child as Kareen Mom has raised Kareen just to think about how we are in society and what color. I don't know if it matters. I don't know if Jesus was white or black, but it's okay. And, I'm and we'll be back in just a moment. Dr. Fel one of Dr. Felder's works is Troubling B Biblical Waters. Excellent. Here is a, here is a look at... Uh, the Bible, its scholarship, its history. Oh, I'll tell you, they never call you chicken. Wait into this. Wendy, briefly, you wanted to there's say. There's one thing that I don't want to happen from all this, because this issue is going to keep getting hotter and hotter and hotter. I don't want to see young kids fighting because Jesus was black or white. Right, I want to see them all come Kareem. forward and say he, was, he loved us Very all. Very good point. Kareem, you wanted to us, Hold on a moment. Us, us as black people, we need to stop pointing the finger at white people. We need to look at ourselves and see why we collect it. We let everybody else, Jews, Koreans, come into our community, control our economics of our community, right. and we can't even open a store in our own That's community. Right. But we always want to point the finger. Take Are you a look there, at ourselves. Caller, you wanted to say briefly. Yeah, hi. I'm very annoyed over not the, not the uh, point that Jesus would be white or black, but it's just another issue again thrown into the media. I'm the mother of a four-year-old child, and while shopping one day, he asked, Mommy, is that man black? And I said, Yes, he is. And the man practically attacked me and said, That's 
that's what's wrong with this white world. No, it, no the gentleman and was wrong. You are quite correct in answering truthfully your, your son's question, and we trust that you put a positive spin as well on the answer. But wouldn't a black Jesus, to be at least occasionally exposed to your young child, help him with his curiosity? Oh, sure. He's been, he's been to a black Santa Claus, and Very I live good. in a white oh, area. And yeah. that's his, I mean, he was right. more excited about and, 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 and I want to point out a good yes. geography. Dr. I, a, Dr. A, Felder commented. Yeah, a, a good geography lesson for us all. You take uh, some people, you put send one of them to the, tell them to walk to Berlin, see how long it takes them. Tell them to, uh, uh, from Jerusalem to Berlin. And then tell them to walk from Jerusalem to, to, to Britain. Tell them to walk to, to, to uh, Germany. And at the same time, tell another person to walk to Africa. That person walking to Africa from Jerusalem will get there um, many, many days ahead of the others. We fail to realize exactly that, that Palestine is exactly where it's always been. And it's a, a tragedy that America and our, our higher education system continuously uses the politics of race to present distorted information, which is worked against black people and for white people. Okay. That's that's what needs I, I to be looked at carefully. I think, uh, Jill Pope Julius II, uh, back in 1509, had the same agenda that perhaps some of the uh, Catholic uh, ministers uh, had when I was...